In this video, I'm using this Arduino to read the temperature using the weather API, then displaying it on the LED grid. Hi everyone. So first, let's talk about what you need. First, you need an Arduino with a built-in Wi-Fi. Or if your Arduino does not have a Wi-Fi, you can always add a Wi-Fi module to it. The one I'm using is the Arduino Uno R4 because Wi-Fi is built in. And the nice part about it, it has this LED uh, screen grid, which I did a separate video on how to use it. I will link it also in the description to the Arduino and to the video showing you how to use the LED screen. That said, if you just want to make the API call and let's say not display the result on any screen, just maybe use the Arduino to take action based on the result of the API call. That's fine. This is just to make the presentation nice for the purpose of the video. Now, uh, in addition to the Arduino, you need the weather API. I found one that gives a free account, which is this, openweathermap.org. I will also leave a link in the description. You're going to come here and you will um, go under uh, sign in. Let's go to create an account. So you can create an account here. Um, make sure you create an account. You give your email address. There is a free version that you can use and they will email you your API code. And I will leave the link and I will give you the code I'm using. Uh, all will be linked in the description. So you're going to create the account and you will need the Arduino with a Wi Fi at least. The screen is not really necessary. You can use the uh, serial monitor, for example, for the purpose of this exercise. Now, let me show you the code, go over that real quick. And then again, like I said, I will leave it in the description. Now let's take a look at the code. Uh, here we have the library for the Wi-Fi, the JSON to parse and for the matrix. Uh, over here is your Wi-Fi and your Wi-Fi password. Uh, like I said, I will leave the code uh, to my GitHub repository for free in the description, but I'm just trying to go over it really quick. Um, this is here for the uh, weather API details. So this is the URL. Uh, here you will be your API key. When you sign up for an account, there is, like I said, there's a free version. Uh, I'm not sure if you can use it for commercial or anything, but you would have to read the terms and condition for the weather API. Uh, but for education purpose, I think there is a free version that you can use. Um, here uh, is the API key. This is just the location. So which city you want to uh, get the temperature for. Obviously, if you're using a different API or if you're, you're making a different call, this is just a simple example on how to make an API call using your Arduino and how to display that on the screen. You can modify the code as you see fit. This is for the matrix. So this is uh, also the serial monitor, by the way. Um, I did add uh, the output to the serial monitor. So as you can see down here, and uh, let me pull that up real quick. You can see the serial monitor will display the temperature. Also, if I um, reset it over here, it will uh, display the Wi-Fi status and the connection and the temperature. So it will output the result to the serial monitor in case you do not have that grid or a screen to output the result to, you can just leave that and output everything to the serial monitor. You will be fine there. This is the uh, Wi-Fi connection over here. Uh, very simple and straightforward. Um, over here is for the display, for setting up that uh, matrix display. Down here is our loop function. So that was our setup function, as you can see, over here, this was the setup function. And if I scroll down, this is our loop function. First, we're checking the Wi-Fi status. If it's connected, then we will make that HTTP request or basically the API call. This is the API call and the output to uh, print out the result. Uh, this is just a waiting for the response. Then we are parsing the response down here using the JSON uh, library, parsing the response, and I'm converting the temperature to uh, Fahrenheit, and I'm removing any decimal points. So if it's 
uh, 80.1. I'm just removing the point because that did not fit well on my screen. If you want that point, you can skip that part where I'm removing the decimal point from the result. Uh, here is just to display that temperature. And here is just to check for Wi-Fi. If Wi-Fi is not connected, then we will just display connection failed. A uh, small delay at the end, you need that because the loop will keep refreshing and if the temperature change then you will see that updated result display on the screen or however you want to display it obviously um, i encourage you to increase the delay i have the delay here very small just for the purpose of the video demo but if you're going to implement this in production you probably want to have at least let's say a minute or so which make more sense no one checking the temperature every hundred millisecond so uh, this is it for the code. I will leave everything in the description. If you have any questions, let me know and uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video.